Are you looking for a way on how to get and play Metroid Prime 4 beyond game into your PC? If you are, then this is the right video tutorial for you to watch now. So in order for you to play this game, this Nintendo Switch game into your PC, you will need to have this four files that I have highlighted here. So these are files are the in Eden Emulator, the latest build of Eden Emulator for Windows. You'll also need um, uh, the keys and a firmware file of the Switch from your Nintendo Switch, the latest version, which is version 20, and the latest XEI or NSP file format of the game, which you got it when you purchase the game. So you have to digitally back it up into an XEI or NSP file. But before you follow this guide, I need you to agree that you have already purchased or pre-ordered Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. I need you to own the game. I need you to own the console. We need to do this legally. Okay, so we do not support any piracy here. Be sure to own everything. So once you agree to do this, then you can proceed into this guide. So uh, the first thing it will do is just create, open a new folder. I mean, no, not new folder, but open a web browser and just type in Eden Emulator in it and search for it. Then go for Eden Emulator.dev, click on that, and then just hover down right here, click on download. Um, Eden Emulator is available for Android. So if you have a powerful Android device, then you'll be able to play Switch games on it easily. And you can run it also in Linux and also with Steam Deck. And here is uh, coming soon, Mac OS and for Windows. In this video trail, we'll be focusing more in Windows. So be sure to click on the Windows and click on download. And here is the latest uh, Eden Emulator version and then hover down below to get the downloader or the zip file of it. So this is the file that you need to look. Eden, then the version, then MSVC standard zip file. So be sure to click on that. Download it now. So I have this file already, so I'm just gonna open that one. So here it is. So to install this is really simple. Just create a new folder and name it Eden Emulator and then download open your downloaded file and then select all the files of the zip file of the Eden downloader that you have then drag and drop copy and paste them into this folder here to install Eden emulator once you've done that open the folder and then select on the application file Eden double click on it and run it now so that you'll be able to run and play Eden emulator so I'm just gonna go back and delete this folder because I have already installed it in a specific SSD so yeah and I'm just gonna minimize this and I'm gonna assume that you have Eden emulator now so open it so if this is your first installation your Eden emulator will not look like mine because mine has been properly set up but for you your Eden emulator will look empty and it will need some Nintendo Switch files before it can play Switch games so the files that you need are again are this files here so these are the Nintendo Switch keys the latest version and the Nintendo Switch firmware okay as long as it is a version 20, you'll be able to play Metroid Prime 4 Beyond in it. So now, if you're asking me on how to get all of these files, again, you should own a Nintendo Switch console which you have modded and you have installed a custom firmware. Because if it has a custom firmware, that means that you have now full access on your Nintendo Switch files. Once you have access on this, then just look for all of the keys and then Nintendo Switch firmware, zip them up just like mine here, and transfer them into your PC. Now to get the game, there is no other way around this again, please do own and purchase the game and support Nintendo. So for those who do not know how to mod or install custom firmware onto their Switch and don't know how to digitally back up their Metroid Prime game, so this is the next step for you. Again, be sure that you own the Switch and you own the game. So prepare your mobile phone scan this QR code here with your QR code reader so that you will be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of the three files. So be sure to follow all of the instructions in the site to get the three files here. But once you have them, you can now install them in Eden Emulator. And I'm gonna assume that you have these files now. So if you have downloaded them via your phone, be sure to transfer them to your PC via Bluetooth or via USB cable. Now, open Eden Emulator so that we can install this File. So the first thing it will need to install is the firmware of the Switch. So just go to Eden, go to Tools, click on the Install Firmware, Install from Zip File, and then look for the firmware file. You can put it anywhere into PC as long as you know where they are. So click here, Firmware Version, hit Open, and let's wait for it. It's now installing. Hit OK. 
Now the next step is to install the firmware of the switch. So it's really easy to do. So just go back to tools, install encryption keys, and then you'll need to have to create a new folder, name it keys, open that one, then open the zip file that you have downloaded, and then just select all the files that's inside, the product keys and title keys, drag and drop them here, copy and paste them, and then select the product keys, hit open, hit okay, then go back to tools again, select encryption keys, select the title.keys, hit open, and hit OK. So now your Eden emulator is now uh, capable of detecting and playing Switch games. You'll know that the installation is successful because if you have Switch games into your PC, it will now be detected and it will show you their game icons such as mine here. Now for the next step is that we will need to uh, optimize our Eden emulator so that it will be able to play Metroid Prime 4 Beyond with no issues, no graphical glitches and crashes. So to optimize Eden, so just go to emulation and go to configure. Okay now, so in this part I need you to pause the video and copy every setting in each tabs in the configuration of Eden so that you'll have uh, fully copied every setting that I have, okay? So please do pause the video copy my settings so these are my settings for the general tab so follow all the check marks and always ask default and i'm gonna go to system so uh the language the region the time zone and the device name or your username you can change this to whatever you like but be sure to check on multi-core and limit speed percent and it should be in 100 percent with a 4 gb dram size that's the default settings now i'm gonna go to the cpu tab now so really simple settings set to auto now in graphics, the most important part of the setting is where in you'll need to follow everything and be sure to do that. So the Vulkan API is the graphics API that we'll be using and you should at least have a dedicated graphics card, at least a GTX 1060. You'll be able to play Switch games easily with that. Also, please do check use persistent pipeline cache and asynchronous GPU emulation and everything here. Be sure to copy it. So in the resolution scale, this is where you can change the resolution to 4K. So, but uh, 4K resolution requires you a very powerful uh, graphics card and PC in order to run it with no uh, issues. So if you have a lower end, then you can go for one times resolution, which is the base resolution of the Switch, 1080p. And if you have a powerful, just like mine, CPU and graphics card, then you can go for two times resolution, which is 1440p or three times resolution, 4K resolution, or you can even go higher if you wanted to, if uh, if you have a higher uh, resolution monitor. But for me, two times resolution is the best. Now, once done, go to advance. Again, please do pause the video and copy every setting in the side here and all of the check marks that I have here. And once you are done here, now go to audio. So these are really simple settings. So be sure to follow uh, this. Everything is set to auto and a stereo uh, sound output with a uh, 100% volume. You can change this to uh, whatever volume you want. And here, go to controls. So uh, it's better that you play Switch games with a controller rather than a mouse and keyboard because it's really hassle if you use mouse and keyboard with Switch games. So connect your Xbox, your PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch Pro Controller here. Be sure to change this into Pro Controller mode. And the dead zone should be set into 20% for both left and right sticks. This should fix the issues with your controller if they're starting to drift. So these are the settings that you need to change. And everything else, you can map them up according to your liking. Once you're done, hit OK. And here, congratulations, uh, your Eden emulator is now fully optimized to run and play any Nintendo Switch games like Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. So, a little bit of a disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys a gameplay of this game running into my PC because we all know how strict Nintendo is. They have been hunting creators who have been playing a Nintendo Switch games via PC. Um, so I don't want my channel to be taken down and my videos will be taken down. So I hope you guys do understand on that part because that is really risky. So I hope you understand guys. But as long as you follow all the steps that I've shown you in this guide, guys, you'll be able to play Metroid Prime 4 Beyond easily into your PC with no issues. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game, you can just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. So thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye for now.